God's timing is not always our timing. Because remember that His plans are always higher than our plans, just as His ways are always higher than our ways. This COVID-19 pandemic had changed a lot of things around us, including our education. In order to get education back on students' track, the Department of Education presented the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan or the BELCP to Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases or the IATF. The purpose of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan is to ensure students' progress amid COVID-19 pandemic. Education must not stop and that this pandemic must not hinder students' success. Our dear parents and candidates for completion who waited patiently, finally, we reap the fruit of our labor. Our junior high school virtual moving up ceremony. To our DepEd Regional Director of Region 10, Dr. Arturo B. Bayukot, CESO 3, our school's division superintendent, Dr. Edilberto L. Oplinaria, our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Rosemary T. Macesar, our SGOD chief, Dr. Maria Carmela T. Ablin, to our CID chief, Dr. Maria Eva S. Idon, our education program supervisors and specialists of the Division of Lanao del Norte, our public schools district supervisor of Kulambugan District, Mrs. Emma M. Labuno, our secondary school principal one of Hieronima Cabrera National High School, Mrs. Vilma V. Mangubat, faculty and staff of GCNHS, our proud parents, candidates for completion, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the virtual moving up ceremony of Hieronima Cabrera National High School with the theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon ay lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Strengthening the quality of education amid COVID-19 pandemic. Please stand for the singing of the national anthem to be followed by a Christian prayer to be given to us by Jessa Angela P. Rekanen with honors and a Muslim prayer to be given to us by Hussein S. Nakabangan to be followed by the regional hymn, the vision hymn, and the Kulumbugan hymn. Appreciation to all 
the blessings you have given unto us. We are humble enough to be the recipient of all your countless and endless graces extended for us, most especially for this momentous day that we've been patiently waiting amidst the present condition we have right now. This may not be the moving up ceremony that we dreamt of as we begun our junior high school education, yet we're so proud that we have made it. Lord God, we lift up to you this triumphant day of ours to be filled with full of happiness and excitement. Thank you so much for the strength to help us endure in this pandemic. Lord God, we humbly ask you to bless our moving up ceremony today. Send forth your Holy Spirit to guide us. Equip our very creative and resourceful teaching and non-teaching staff with enough knowledge and skills. We further ask you to bless to our ever-loving and supportive parents and family in order to make this ceremony successful. Lead us to walk through the right path to realize that has been planned before us. Lord God, we are nothing without you. Thus, we bring back all the praises, thanks, and glory to you. All this we ask and pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahmanirrahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim Ghayril maghdubi alayhim waladhalin Amin Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wal'asr Inna al-insana lafi khusr Illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu s-salihat Wa tawasaw bil-haqqi wa tawasaw bil-sabar Sadakallahu al-azim
this point of time, let us listen to the welcome remarks to be given to us by Miss Emily M. Ochagabia with honors. Greetings. Today, we are gathered to witness the great then moving up ceremony of Eronima Cabrera National High School. This is a momentous occasion for us completers as it marks another milestone in our lives and recognizes achievement earned through hard work, perseverance, and sacrifices, most especially the sacrifices of our parents in getting and submitting the modules back and forth to school, and in finding a strong internet connection for online classes. This is also the day that recognizes our triumph over disappointments, frustrations, financial difficulties, and above all, triumph over losing hope of making it to the end. This is a triumph amid the global health crisis which we are experiencing right now. Four years ago, we had started stepping into gangplank of secondary level of education, as if we have boarded a ship bounded to success and we were exposed to different activities which geared towards our total formation. But what have made us rich is the voyage where the worth keeping experiences that we had shared as we rubbed elbows with our schoolmates. We have also become rich with the values that we have got from our dear teachers. But today's occasion is not yet the end. There is still another round Another round of success that we student might be stepping into and lead us to another world with more difficult tasks to tackle. The knowledge that we have gained and the values that we have learned will equip us as we venture for more challenging tasks in life. On this day, we acknowledge the untiring efforts of our teachers, the undying love and support of our parents, and the unwavering assistance extended by PTA local and provincial officials. All the have is truly help a lot in shaping and building our lives. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this great and moving up ceremony with the theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Good day everyone and mabuhay! Ladies and gentlemen, our school officials, faculty and staff of Hieronima Cabrera National High School. Ladies and gentlemen, this time let us have the presentation of candidates for completion to be given to us by our secondary school principal one, Mrs. Vilma V. Mangubat, to be confirmed by our school's division superintendent, Dr. Edilberto L. Oplinaria Seso 5, to be followed by his message. Dr. Edilberto Leones Oplinaria, CESO 5, the school's division superintendent of Lanao del Norte, 
I have the honor to present to you the 224 grade 10 candidates for completion of Jeronima Cabrera National High School for school year 2020-2021. This is composed of 83 males and 141 females. I hereby certify that after careful scrutiny of their documents, they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Program. May I therefore request you to confirm their completion. By the authority vested in me as the school's division superintendent of the Division of Lano del Norte and as the representative of Leonor Magdolis Briones, Secretary of the Department of Education, and having been represented and certified by the school head that you have completed the basic requirements prescribed by the Department of Education, that you have completed the basic requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the junior high school curriculum. I now confirm you completers for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! Here are the grade 10 completers who will be receiving their certificates. Congratulations! I am proud to present to you the completers of grade 10 Cherry Blossom. Abilia Francis Yu. Di Los Santos, Maler C. Di Mapuro, Knife A. Ikot, Yancy Fritz Gerald L. Ihara, Jonathan L. Espinosa, Zandi J. Lopez, Edgy P. Makausor, Hamdani G. Madayan, July Acer S. Ochagabia, Limwell M. Pabilik, Ian J. T. Patarlas, Kenneth Joshua M. Payusan, Mark Dave T. With honors. Rajamuda Abdullah L. With honors. Rago Kian B. Romano Lloyd Bryan A. Santa Ana John March B. Sushas Aljun O. Tumampus G. Lord A. Ayunan, Janisa M. Biking, Marlene S. Baldicantos, Carol T. Balusada, Angeline B. Baras, Cecil V. Basilio, Dachila May P. Bongkarawan, Nor Fatima, S. Kabasag, Noreen May, S. Kalamuhoy, Jenny P. Katigbi, Jennifer P. Claros, Angel S. De La Corta, Cheryl May R. With honors. Dilatore, Christine C. Interina, Marichan M. Iroy, Janina J. Espinosa, Michaela P. Gatoria, Carol May A. Lagat, Mehan A. Largo, Myla May S. Laurente, Larabel. Lomantas, Christine and G. 
Malino, Chris, Zynex, B. Manisan, Annalyn, M. Milieno, Rachel, J. Mirab, John Rea, C. Momo, Julie Gabriel, P. With high honors. Ochagavia, Emily M. With honors. Palanas, Anna Marie L. Pantonial, Hannah May B. Penia, Kazel Kate M. Pipito, Lovely May D. Rindula, Stephanie B. Sayaan, Princess Niris A. Shanko, Thea M. Sultan, Abigail R. Tamparong, Ruth May J. And Vinia, Ria May R. With honors. Congratulations! I am proud and honored to present to you the Grid Team Hasmin Completers, Angni Binor A. Auri Michael L. Awayan Jr. Armando S. Balindong Anor S. Binson John Jen B. Busran Jasper B. Kali Sukarno Jr. S. Kamaludin Salahudin M. Quiring Angelo S. Daod Asraf M. Dominador Lawrence R. Hinon Angelo N. With honors. Grinhia Sherwin A. Laba Abdul Maumir S. Likop Jan Delbert N. Makabangon Hoshin Salamat Jr. D. Makalunto Razol J. Markaban Jerby G. Pakatang Art Roland. Kimno Crispolo N. Ruilan Arman N. Sulaiman Abdul Basit M. Viola Alfi Jan. Abinio Zaibel J. Amino Asia M. Barua Monaifa B. Kabanayan DCD with honors. Kabasag Ara S. Kairudin Nishren R. Kais Cherime P. Kanyiti Shelo L. Kanoy Lian C. Katimprato Janil A. Kawi Naisa S. Kawi Raina T. Kulungan Jorisa M. Dakumos Mylin C. Gumakap Sinab M. Helodo Arlen V. Hilodo Ivy Grace T. Ligardi Mary Paluma B. Lunar Mia M. Lopos Roth M. 
Maglangit di sa may i. Markaban sa niya g. Milya ziyasan j. Mutia monera c. Pasagi sa uda m with honors. Radia Sahara A. Rasuman Asnifa M. Remolio Jerilo B. Rominimbang Hidaya A. Sulaiman Alia Ivan E. Tagibaw Elgen B. Talion ay mafi B. Congratulations. It is my honor to present to you the completers of Grade 10 Rose. Abilia Midardo Jr. B. Adjo Mark J. O. Katakutan Jumiljan T. Jamla Umar A. Istaka Jesus C. Habines Patrick James M. Jerusalem Dante Jr. E. Manlunas Marcelino Jr. R. Meribelis Jevan G. Ompoy Marvin M. Pescones, John Lloyd T. Rabosa, Axel T. Rial, Mark Anthony C. Sarumenis, Javen M. Saura, Mark D. Tabanao, Jesse. Ablaza Cheryl Grace M. Ablaza Cyrilu D. Akuram Frisley C. Alumpo Norpia A. Alvarez Lovely May B. Ampaso Asnia B. Arsinal Joan J. Ayuman Jeza A. Baguhin Crisel M. With honors. Buanding Saima M. Buanding Salama M. Cantera Glyzame T. Kasar Shella G. Kasar Shello G. Kaitano Asia C. With honors. Daridai Roslaine T. Gakang Aris G. Laurio Leslie P. Libri Angel Nathalie D. With honors. Maniegos Aprilin P. Manisan Jalila S. Markaban Munaisa S. Marhum Nor Asha A. Panangilaan Putri Hakima M. Pangandaman, Siti Aina A. Pescones, Angel B. Pescones, Apple Shane. Pinkian, Lovely V. Rafanan, Jessa Angela P. With honors. Rica Frente, Arian Jean C. Rico Chris Jane S. Saripada Princess B. 
sa Romines, Ana TJM. Si Derenia Rayame J. Sobrado Abigail P. Sugabo Mickey B. Sumaklaw Geraldine H. Tyros Erica A. Tevez Joyce C. Tres Kathy P. And Yurong Vangelin P. Congratulations! I am proud to present to you the completers of Grade 10 Orchids. Abarques Dinmark C. E. Abdul Muhammad Iqbal S. Acosta John Lloyd S. Abdul Gafor Hamim M. Alikaway John Michael H. Ampaso Hanip S. Angkako Aaron B. Antipuesto Jerome H. Bakalso Carlo L. With honors. Bale Alfi M. Baloyos Ryan J. Carl R. Kalungsud Cypress M. Kasiban Alex M. Cleopas Mark Lawrence C. Cortado Marvin A. Damgo John David P. Diaz Vernon C. Erat Angelo A. Flores Andrivon C. Hinobatin Rensam M. Horgia Jonuel L. Mutia Ainudin A. Ridao Abdul Wahid T. Rimulado Eddie Jr. S. Villanueva Romeo Jr. M. Aguaviva Christine May R. Ampaso Aina S. Ampaso Amira M. Babanto Nicole A. Bakalso Margeline E. Bakarisas Mel Jane M. Bakarisas Michelle S. Bariga Cathilo Rose M. Bation Cherry Grace L. Bunghanoy Janice P. Kagubkub Christine R. Silicio Shaina K S. Cleopas Cherimi A. Epi Reselu T. Estrada Jessel John W. Garapa Emily E. Lucica Ami Rose P. Lucica Liza May T. Madridenyo Sierra Joy T. Mangilala Hania M. Manisan Honey Rose L. Masana Frances Claire C. Monticillio Jocelyn V. Olasiman J. Ann J. Sagaino Althea S. Sulaiman Donna P. M. Sulaiman Mary Nail C. Suarez Alexandra L. Talib Aisa Johanna C. Trompeta Charis A. 
Viranio April Rose P. Congratulations! A good leader inspires others to learn more, do more, and become more. Ladies and gentlemen, this time let us hear messages coming from our ever dynamic and very successful leaders in the field of education. Our very own DepEd Secretary, Dr. Leonor M. Briones. To be followed by the message coming from our DepEd Regional Director of Region 10, Dr. Arturo B. Bayokot, SESO 3. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings and most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank 
the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered, and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore, you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget 
our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. 
when I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Isang maalab at matagumpay na araw po sa ating lahat. Mula dito sa amin sa kagawaran ng edukasyon sa Mihan ng Mindanao. Graduation, completion, or moving up ceremonies are testimonies of excellent coordination, genuine hard work, and great love. When the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world, hitting the various sectors including education, the Department of Education, through the competent leadership of Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones, firmly accepted the challenge to continue education, bravely wrestling with the challenges of the pandemic and unceasingly finding solutions to address any emerging problems. Amidst all these difficulties, emerged excellent coordination across all levels of governance and the different stakeholders with the teachers at the forefront of delivering the basic education learning continuity plan. And here they are, our learners, who willingly submitted themselves to blended distance learning, painstakingly learning the ways of the new learning landscape, and successfully accomplishing all their academic requirements through genuine hard work. But these successes would not have been possible if not for the great love of the parents and guardians who have been selflessly offering their prayers, time, and resources. In other words, the successes of our learners, our teachers, our leaders, and the Department of Education at large, with the unwavering support of all our stakeholders, are products of our collective decision to succeed as one family. On behalf of the entire DepEd Region 10, allow me to thank and congratulate everyone for this great feat which attests that DepEd indeed is on track. But just like what is said in our theme for this year's end of school year rights, strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic, we need to be on our toes. The COVID-19 pandemic is real and so are other education emergencies. All together, let us rise from this pandemic, recalibrate our learning continuity plans, and continue to deliver quality education for our learners, the heart of DepEd 10. Muli, binabati ko ang lahat ng nagtapos sa taong ito. Hangad namin ang inyong patuloy na tagumpay, anumang landas ang inyong tatahakin. Pagpalain na wa kayo ng poong may kapal. Marami pong salamat. Greetings! It was never in our wildest dreams that one day, we'll be forced to close our schools to protect you, dear learners, from the pandemic. I know that what happened in March last year when we had to forego the commencement exercises after President Rodrigo Rua Duterte announced that the country was placed under the state of calamity saddened those who were supposed to proudly receive their diploma certificate of completion with their parents 
who waited for this precious moment that marked as an important milestone in their lives. This year, despite the health crisis that we are still facing, we decided to conclude the school year by holding the virtual graduation to recognize the sacrifices you put into the years of school work. This is the department's way of celebrating with you your success. Their graduates completers. This year's closing exercises with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic is a historic occasion signifying our victory as we have succeeded in pursuing our mantra of Sulung Edukalidad and in fulfilling our duty as mandated by the Philippine Constitution and that is to protect and promote the right of all citizens to quality education at all levels and shall take appropriate steps to make such education accessible to all. Indeed, COVID-19 caught us off guard, but your teachers and school heads did not stop performing their tasks and finding ways to make education continue even if it means sacrificing their own safety so that you will have quality, equitable, and culture-based education that will liberate you from the bandits of illiteracy because they truly believe that you are the hope of this country. Allow me therefore to pay tribute to all Deep Ed Division of Lano Del Norte officials, school heads, teachers, and parents for painstakingly working day and night to ensure that you are given the opportunity to learn and finish basic education. This pandemic has ended brought out the best in all of us because we have become more resourceful, resilient, steadfast, and innovative in our desire to deliver a strengthened quality education through distance learning modalities. In fact, the division managed to put in place programs that have improved our processes and systems. My special recognition goes to our very own provincial governor, Emelda Cabranza Dimapuro, Congressman Abdullah D. Dimapuro, Congressman Muhammad Khalid Kebranza di Mapuro, and all the provincial board members, municipal and barangay officials, the officers and members of the Parent Teachers Association, and all other government and non-government organizations for being instrumental in the provision of equipment, gadgets, materials, and funding support for the full implementation of this division's basic education learning continuity plan. To all of you graduates and completers, warmest congratulations. You deserve this accolade because despite numerous difficulties you have encountered along the way, you persevered and succeeded. May this victory serve as your stepping stone to become better in every way, to be more productive, disciplined, and to be ready for the world of work. And as you leave the portals of your alma mater, Take advantage of the knowledge and skills you have gained to pursue your dreams and aspirations in life. And always remember, your teachers and all those who played a dynamic role of educating you with a heart. Again, my salute! Office of the Provincial Governor Message our province has been through several disasters and other major challenges. But time and again, we have proven our resilience and ingenuity in facing these struggles. We are grateful to our Almighty for our strength to bounce back and adapt to a new normal. Last year, 2020, we were all shaken. COVID-19 disrupted our economy and caused enormous changes in our normal daily lives. Several restrictions and health protocols were implemented to contain the spread of the virus. Education was one of the significantly affected sectors. Our learning system was altered from traditional face-to-face -face learning to flexible and blended learning. I am thankful that the pandemic and the inconveniences attached to it did not deter us to pursue our dreams and aspirations for our children. There is no stopping to our quest for quality education. The new arrangement is undoubtedly more difficult than usual. But thanks to modern technology, 
the education of our children remains unhampered. We were able to continue what we have started and finished with flying colors. Indeed, our theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, is very timely for this occasion. Today is a momentous day for everyone. Your graduation is the fruit of all your sacrifices and hard work. I am very delighted to be part of this virtual event as you celebrate the end of the school year graduation and completion rites. How I wish I could personally celebrate it with you and witness the delightful smiles on your faces, but this is all for now. We need to still follow standard health protocols for our safety. I do hope that despite our physical distance, you can feel my sincere admiration for achieving this important milestone. At this point, let me express my utmost respect to all school principals, teaching and non-teaching personnel. Your dedication and determination are key ingredients in motivating the students to learn. We truly value your sacrifices in producing and disseminating modules for your learners. We appreciate your role in delivering an essential service to the community. To our dear parents of today's graduates and completers, my warmest congratulations. Your sacrifices, hard work, and patience paid off. The pandemic compelled you to become an active player in your children's learning process. I know that it was never easy, but you made it. Again, congratulations. I encourage you to continue supporting and guiding your children on the right track. Let us not lose hope. You always look for a silver lining in every problem that we face. Finally, to our honorees, Graduates and completers for the school year 2020-2021, congratulations. Compared to the previous years, this school year is never easy. I am glad to note that despite all the modifications in this new normal, you persevere and endure to the end. This ceremony has proven your resilience in these trying times. I am confident that with the knowledge skills, and experience have gained from your school, you will be able to withstand challenges in your journey towards the future you desire. As you move to another chapter of your life, I hope that you become part of the positive change that we desire for our respective communities and our country. Never stop believing and dreaming for a better you. The world is so vast and there are still many opportunities that await you. Once again, congratulations to all graduates and completers for the school year 2020-2021. My fervent prayers and wishes for a bright future ahead of you. God bless and mabuhay. Mayong kalambugan ka na itong tanan. Labi na nining usak kadako ng celebration ng pagkahimuon sa Hieronima Cabrera National High School din uh, ang senior high school magsaulog silang graduation rights o ang senior high para silang moving at ceremony. Bisan sa gitna ng istatining uh, sa pandemya uh, ang Hieronima Cabrera National High School uh, magsaulog sa ilang graduation. Uban sa tema is tetening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Gusto lang ako ipaabot sa local government unit of Pulambugan ang pag-congratulate labi na sa atong mga graduate o katong completer sa senior high o junior high. Uban sa ilang pamilya labi na sa mga ginikanan na dako kayo o uh, papil para sa edukasyon ni ining atong mga graduates o completers. Gusto po ako ipabot kasalamatan ang atong mga educator, ang atong uh, principal, ang mga teachers, na in spite 
sa duble nila nga trabaho sa paghatag og mayo nga kaugmaon pinagi sa edukasyon ngadto sa tong mga kabataan. So nakita nako sa pagkakaroon abnormal ang atong sitwasyon pero ato man ning commitment og trabaho para matagaan nato og mayong ugma ang atong kabataan. Ang local government unit of Kulambugan usa na maghatag og inspirasyon o maghatag og suporta para sa atong mga kabataan. Dili pa nato matagaan kanus-a nga manormalize with nato ang atong sitwasyon. Sa pagkakaroon modular o sabi ni, som ang atong gihimo, ang mood sa atong edukasyon. Pero in spite ang intanan, malampasan na doon nato ni niya. Ang importante lang, kita committed ta para sa atong mga kabataan kay og unsa man ang ilang kahimtang karon og unsa may ilang makabot parta sa ilang sa ilang kaugmaon so kana lang isip aman sa atong lungsod ako magahatag sa akong kinasingkasing na pagcongratulate sa Heronina Cabrera National High School among sa mga educators o sa mga ginikanan sa mga kabataan sa ilang sa ilang nahimo na kalampusan nining tuig 2021 para sa ilang graduation ceremonies o uh, moving up uh, complete completer so kaninyong tanan usbo nako mayong hapon mayong adlaw para sa katawan sa lungsod sa Lambugan. May God bless us all. At this point, let us recognize the students who gave extra effort and have proven themselves in their study. Recognition of achievements. With high honors, Julie Gabriel P. Momo. With honors, Carlo L. Bacalso. Crizel M. Baguhin. Daisy D. Cabanayan Janelle A. Catimprato Aisha C. Cayetano Cheryl May R. De La Corta Angelo N. Hinon Angel Nathalie D. Libre Emily M. Ochegabia Sauda M. Pasagi Mark Dave T. Payusan Abdullah L. Rajamuda Jessa Angela P. Rafanan Rhea May R. Vinya a person who feels appreciated will always do more than what is expected from him. To all the hard works, efforts, and dedication that you have shown in this school year, you just deserve to be recognized. Congratulations for a job well done. To all the students who excel amid COVID-19 pandemic, you deserve this. Words are temporal, but its effects are universal. With this, let us listen to our grade 10 advisor, Ms. Rosnea T. Bali, who will introduce this year's virtual moving up ceremony guest speaker. I am deeply honored and privileged to introduce to you one of the most important person for today's occasion. A woman with numerous achievements whose name echoes the essence of intelligence, competence, and dedication. Like many of you, I recognize that the opportunity to hear our guest speaker is extremely a rare and valuable opportunity. Our guest speaker for this momentous event was born on September 29, 1993 at Kulambugan, Lanao del Norte. 
she had become the person she is now because of the virtues and values that was developed and nurtured by her supportive and loving parents, namely Dani P. Tabamo and Iluna P. Tabamo. She spent her elementary years at Kulambugan Central Elementary School and graduated in the year 2006 as class salutatorian and was awarded Student of the Year. She finished her secondary education here at Hieronima Cabrera National High School and obviously graduated the pride of her batch as class valedictorian in the year 2010. Being one of my students in physics, I see her as capable, confident, and fluent, never at a loss for words. In fact, her wit and confidence paved way for my first regional winning coach, having bought the third place in the regional spotlight competition in science held in Tangub City. With this, she did not just graduate as the top performing student of her batch, but also received the Journalist of the Year Award and Student Leadership Award. Counted with the other aspiring students who entered the case of the prestigious Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology at Iligan City, she hurdled countless challenges in her college years. But her natural love for learning caused her to persist and triumph. Hence, in 2015, she earned her degree, Bachelor in Secondary Education, Major in Physics with Flying Colors. Her commendable achievements in the university made an indelible mark having graduated as a debater and won several competitions in her college years such as being an essay writing champion in the Department of Science and Mathematics Education in MSU IIT in the years 2012 to 2014. Grown up with the opportunities for intellectual and moral growth, she has attended several professional trainings and completed short courses to read. DepEd Private Education Assistance Committee Summit in-service training for both junior and senior high school teachers in private school in the years 2017 to 2018. Transforming Teachers for 21st Century Learners and DIWA Innovators Congress by DIWA Learning Systems Incorporated and Batubalani Foundation Incorporated. It must be true that a brainy person seeks to further develop the mind through encounters with intellectual kind. Our speaker pursued her natural love for teaching as an English as second language teacher at an international online company based in the Philippines where she taught English to Chinese learners through fan online video lessons, signed up for free trainings to develop knowledge and skills for English language teaching. Indeed, when one works on things to which one is greatly inclined, work becomes a play. Hence, the passing of time had not been noticed and the demands of the course had not become a burden. And without a doubt, the difference between the possible and the impossible lies in that person's determination. Consequently, in 2016, she became a private school teacher having supervised and ensured the holistic development of the students at Holy Cross High School and initiated and organized math and science activities where she served as math and science club coordinator in the years 2016 to 2019. Consequently, she is a precious gem of Lala National High School as a junior high school teacher. Her achievements, even when she was still a student, are truly commendable as they mirror her great sense of commitment, hard work, and passion. Completers, proud parents, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be inspired, motivated, and more importantly, be equipped to live the life you always wanted. I don't want to waste another moment of her time. So please join me in extending a very warm welcome to our guest speaker for this momentous occasion. A licensed professional teacher, 
a science enthusiast, a dedicated teacher with a well-decorated cape, the class valedictorian of Jeronima Cabrera National High School, class of 2010, Ebony P. Tababo. Thank you, Mom Rose, for that humbling introduction. To our school's division superintendent, Sir Edilberto L. Oplinaria, to our assistant school division superintendent, Ma'am Rosemary T. Macesar, our school governance and operations division chief, Ma'am Maria Carmela T. Ablin, to Ma'am Maria Eva S. Idon, our curriculum implementation division chief, to Ma'am Emma Labunog, Kulambugan District Supervisor, and to Ma'am Vilma Mangubat, Secondary School Principal 1, Faculty and Staff of Jeronima Cabrera National High School, Completers, Parents, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good Afternoon. Before I start with my talk, let me just ask you this very simple question. It's not a quiz though. Believe me, it is very simple. How are you? Kumusta mo karon? How are you feeling while having your virtual moving up ceremony? It's quite unusual, right? Yeah, I feel it too. We are really in the new normal. I used to speak in front of people where I can see the reactions of the listeners. But now, I am talking in front of the camera. But I know that you are there and you are listening. Just bear with me. When Mom Rosnea and Sir Louie invited me to become the guest speaker for this year's Moving Up Ceremony, I had mixed emotions. I got excited because I'll be able to visit and see the school. Meet my mentors, my former teachers. I am happy and honored, but at the same time, I was doubtful and I asked myself, why me? Am I really deserving to stand here and talk to all of you? To tell you honestly, it took me a while to finish this speech. I was uncertain of what I am going to say. But I hope that you will be inspired with this. So here it goes. Let me start this by congratulating all of the junior high school completers of Jeronima Cabrera National High School Batch 2020 and 2021. I am very happy and very proud of all of you. You made it. All the sacrifices, hard work, perseverance are finally paid off. Congratulations for a job well done. But today, I am not only congratulating the completers who successfully finished the first four years of high school, but I am also congratulating your proud parents, guardians, and relatives who have been waiting for this academic achievement. In behalf of the completers, I would like to thank all of you for your unending support and sacrifices for your children. What they have achieved today is also because of your efforts. You all deserve a big thanks and a round of applause. So completers, let us take this moment to give thanks to your parents and guardians. Whoever is beside you right now, be it your parents or guardians, I want you to hold their hand and look at them with sincerity and gratitude and say thank you. To the completers, after this, you will go to senior high school. And maybe some of you are anxious and uncertain of what you want to be in the future. What course are you going to take when you go to college? These thoughts might be making you unable to decide what strand to choose for the coming enrollment. It is normal to feel anxious and a little scared after
after today's celebration. But take it easy. You are all going to be fine. How do I know that? I am also a teacher. And I know that the K-12 curriculum has a purpose. Giving you two more years in senior high school will help you prepare and become more ready and more equipped to join the workforce or enter college. The Department of Education, the school, and the teachers are working hand in hand, doing the best that we can to still give you the quality education that you need. The quality education that you deserve. Even in the midst of adversities, even in this time of pandemic, learning should not stop. That is why your teachers take the risk of going out from their homes, come to school and prepare your modules. We have to stay online most of the time so that we can answer your questions regarding the modules, regarding the topics. We need to have good internet connections so that we can have a smooth online class. All of these efforts are for you, my dear students. But we have to remember that learning is a two-way process. It must have the determination and the passion to teach as well as the eagerness and the willingness to learn. So students, we also need your cooperation, perseverance, and hard work. Study hard for learning. As what Marky B posted on Facebook for his hashtag drop your honors challenge entry and I quote to pupils and students study hard for learning and not for numbers grades are just a bonus compete with no one how you will ace life after school is the real challenge and I agree with him you see 11 years ago I was also like you graduating from high school fortunately I was one of those students who graduated with honors I received certificates medals gifts and was given the opportunity to stand in front and deliver the valedictory speech but don't get me wrong I was really thankful and very happy that day that was one of the most joyous moments of my life all the hard work all the sleepless nights had been paid off but realization strikes me hard when I stepped out from the comforting walls of the school and walked into the real world I faced real challenges and I started to experience failures I failed many times and I was devastated to see other people achieving their dreams and ambitions in life while I was crying and dealing with my failures thank God that I was blessed with a family who is very understanding and supportive their advices and support helped me to get through those tough times so equipped with the love and support from my family the teachings and the learnings that I had from my teachers and the bruises the dirt and the experiences that I had from falling I stood up and continued my journey with pride and confidence not because I was given an award for being a failure but because I was able to survive and surpassed and rise above those trials now I know that I haven't achieved much yet but I am going there slowly but surely there's no rush life is not a race things will fall into their proper places at the right time let me share with you 
this short realization. Behind every success story is a person who made a courageous decision to carry on and move forward despite all the setbacks. Remember that success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So never be afraid to fail. What's important is how you face failure, how you rise above it. The failures that you have will never define who you really are. So every time you fall, just stand up and continue your journey. It may not be a smooth journey as what you want it to be, but never ever give up. Pursue your dreams. Do what you really want to do. Be realistic. Be fearless. Go after what you love. As long as you are passionate about it and you ask for guidance and wisdom from our Heavenly Father, then you can never go wrong. People around you will always have something to say. They can see the outcome, but they will never know what happened behind the scenes. So never wait for people's approval. Don't allow people's opinion describe and define who you are. Always believe in yourself. Tell yourself every day that you matter. Always bring confidence, but partner it with humility and respect. Before I end, let me take this opportunity to thank all my teachers here in Hieronima Cabrera National High School. You are my influencers. Thank you for educating me academically and for honing my talents and skills. For all the learnings and the advices, nga sakit og dulot sa kasing-kasing, pero dako kaayong tabang sa akua. Daghang salamat. Because of you, I will never forget GCNHS, the place where I first started dreaming. Now, I know why I got invited here. Because I am a product of these teachers. I am me because of them. So be grateful for your teachers, my dear completers. I am 27 years old now, and they are still here, still passionate about what they are doing, honing and building children's lives. I am one of you. I grew up with these teachers that I will always be grateful for. Look at where it got me. Lastly, remember that education is the only treasure that you have that no one can take away. What you learn is yours. So every time you have the opportunity to acquire new knowledge and learning, grab it, put it into action, and make use of it. Let us always make our alma mater proud. Once a Heronimanian, always a Heronimanian. Thank you and God bless us all. Successful people have fears. Successful people have worries. Successful people have doubts. But they just don't let these feelings stop them from pursuing their dreams. Congratulations for reaching this far. Yet, behind your success today lies people who never stop believing in you. At this point in time, let us listen to the tribute from Julie Gabriel P. Mumo with high honors. One usually don't realize how these two words give people smiles. It is not as simple as they think, probably more beautiful than color pink. It's as blissful as hearing a newborn's cries, also gives you this feeling of butterflies. Some are occasionally received, others give it as an everyday deed. 
I'm ending this poem thinking that everyone knows what I'm referring. Today, it is what I'll be doing for people who gave us so much loving. Good day, everyone. To our beloved principal, Mrs. Vilma Mangubat, GCNH's teaching force and staff, parents, my fellow completers, friends, and to each of our supportive people who are watching, a pleasant day to you all. It is a great honor to speak and appear in your screens today to pay tribute to those people who helped us a lot. First, I want to say congratulations. Congratulations to us completers. We did it. We really did it. We survived a whole year of modules and online classes. All of us saw how COVID really affected our lives. Last year, March 2020, we really thought that we would only have a one-week school break and then when we came back, we would have our yearly convocation. Flexing those awards, taking pictures with friends and families, having feasts and etc. But no, none of those happened last year which really saddened us. COVID's outbreak worried students a lot, not just students, also our educators and our parents. What would happen next school year? What are we going to do with, about our studies? These questions and such give so much stress to all of our educators and parents. And so, I want to thank DepEd for spending precious time thinking of ways for us students to be able to continue our studies. Thank you to our dear teachers who played such a big role in our lives. They spent so many sleepless nights printing and organizing our modules. They also risk their health just to monitor students' progress at their homes, guided us, helped us to survive this school year. No matter what the situation or circumstances, their commitment in teaching and guiding students never faded. I especially want to thank my advisor for supporting me, all of us, for boosting us, getting us out of our comfort zones, Thank you so much, our dear educators. To our parents and guardians, thank you for the undying support. Thank you for understanding us when we asked for money for load and others. Thank you for going to school weekly to submit and receive our modules. You protected us. You kept us safe. You were there for our hug. You were our warrior, our knight. Thank you for getting us here today. To my friends, to each of I also want to thank you for the friendship and for providing us help in answering the module. I want to thank also our friends who are also our seniors who helped us understand our lessons more. And lastly, I want to thank each of you guys, completers, for not giving up. For not letting our current situation defeat you and make you give up. It surely wasn't a beautiful ride of rainbows, trust me. It was a difficult one. I know everyone was stressed, some experienced depression, and I want to thank you guys for keeping the zeal in you. Months from now, we are to step on another level. May you also push through it. We may face a lot of failures in the future, but let us think of it as an exercise that will make us stronger. This is our day, so let us enjoy it. Let us also thank ourselves. Good day, everyone, and thank you. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. These are the words of the African leader, Nelson Mandela. This could help us a lot in preparing the youth to assume great responsibility as leaders of tomorrow. A very pleasant day to everyone. I am about to present to you the state of the school address of Hieronima Cabrera National High School. This SOSA gives us an update of what the school has achieved and what the school head has performed as embodied in Republic Act 9155. School year 2020-2021 is a great challenge for all of us 
due to COVID-19 pandemic. But this global health crisis has never impeded us to continue our passion to deliver quality education to the learners. Jeronima Cabrera National High School is located at Barangay Riverside, Kulambugan, Lanao del Norte. To date, the school has a teaching force consisting of 35 junior high school, 13 senior high school, one administrative assistant, one senior bookkeeper, and one disbursing officer. Jeronima Cabrera National High School is an institution whose teachers strive hard to provide well-disciplined, value-laden, and globally competitive graduates imbued with essential knowledge and skills of productive citizens of the community. Hence, we are committed to equip our learners with relevant skills which make them become more useful in the community. Furthermore, we commit to provide quality classroom instructions by imparting learning through competent and adequately trained teachers and staff who demonstrate desirable values and traits that shall explore all avenues to gain commitment and greater participation of stakeholders to school programs, projects, and activities. Our endeavors are focused in the continuous improvement of our school's performance. We have a total enrollment of 1,466 with modular printed learning as our learning modality. We also have the blended learning as online platforms and radio-based instruction that serves as our backup modality. The 1,466 comprises the 329 grade 7, 288 grade 8, 245 grade 9, 226 grade 10, 211 grade 11, and 167 grade 12 learners. To strengthen the implementation of reading program, GCNHS teachers have done some home visitations and some in the Puruk creating some reading centers by Puruk to respond to the needs of the students who have reading deficiencies. Home visit was one of the means of reaching out our students in delivering and retrieving modules from them so that they would never be left behind. As to staff development aspects, school-based lab sessions were conducted by department. Almost all the teachers were encouraged also to attend the virtual, regional, national seminars, and even division seminars and other webinar trainings. With regards to our achievements and recognition, we have reaped. Hieronima Cabrera was awarded as first placer in Brigada Escuela 2019. In 2019, the school has been dubbed as Division Level Hall of Famer Awardee in the Large School category in Brigada Escuela 2019. We were also able to join the 2019 Brigada Jingle Contest, got first place, and represented this division to the regional competition. On March 4, 2020, we got ninth place in the Regional Brigada Jingle Making Contest 2020. This school year 2020-2021, we have continued our desire to improve GCNHS and we have joined Brigada Escuela and encouraged the parents, various volunteers and stakeholders and we were able to generate huge amount of money for it. The concerted efforts of everyone had led towards the progress and development of the school. One of the, our teachers here at GCNHS, Mr. Jeffrey Fabian C. Barrientos, our faculty club president, has been elected as president of the Lanao del Norte Federated Secondary Teachers Club. Another achievement, 
our campus journalist, as well as our school paper in English, The Scribe, were able to reap major and minor awards in both English and Filipino categories during the search for La Norte Journe Star last March 16, 2019, 2021. These were facilitated by our English and Filipino school paper advisor, Mr. Louis James C. Gonzalez and Ms. Rosita G. Rehensha. GCNH is also awarded, was awarded as the best implementer in the 2021 Division Level Gawad Si Club SSG Makakalikasan category and that was announced on May 27, 2021. Another, our teachers have shaped the total personality of our learners. The latter have showcased their talents in various activities and competitions in the community and they were able to garner awards in the said competitions. First, second, and third place in poster making contest during the Escape of Lashon Mendanao Week of Peace celebration last November 26 to December 2, 2020. Our learners also have emerged champion third and sixth runners up during the first regional mobile force battalion 10 digital poster and infographic making contest last february 9 2021 another activities in the community of which our gca nhs students were able to showcase their talents were the first place in the wannabe contest and second place in TikTok Challenge Kulambugan during the Kulambugan Town Fiesta virtual activities last May 2, 2021. Another 76 of our grade 12 TVL learners also have availed of joint delivery voucher program at Maigo Trade Vocational Training Center as our partner institution. This is portion to pertinent provisions of Republic Act 10533 of the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 or the General Appropriations Act for Fiscal Year 2020. Presently, we have received the approval from Regional Director Arturo Bayocot of our special program for foreign language Japanese and hopefully SPFL Lipongo will be offered next school year 2021-2022. Moreover, we have also our accomplishments this school year. Our water, sanitation, hygiene or wash in school was implemented which resulted in the mounting of hand washing facilities with 20 faucets. We have also received the SLM supplies, the alcohol and thermal scanner from LGU Kulambugan through the leadership of Mayor Lorenzo V. Maniegos. LGU Kulambugan has also given us the financial assistance to make our, our school beautiful through the special education funds. We have also received gallon of alcohol and rims of band paper from the division office. Thanks to Dr. Edelberto Leones of Plenaria, our school's division superintendent. Another 25 sections of JCNHS have implemented the homeroom projects amounting to 214,000 plus. We are also proud to purchase reams of band paper and supplies of ink and 25 printers, six of which are for the senior high school department and 19 for the junior high school department. The printing of self-learning modules has continued and this never serves as our hindrance in our passion to deliver quality education to the learners. Aside from the achievements and awards that we received, we were fortunate enough that 65 
chosen learners or recipients of the cash assistance provided by the provincial government of Lanao del Norte. We were also lucky to be one of the schools to receive the 1,000 hardbound books by Congressman Sani S. L. Lagoon of Ako Bisaya Party List through Congressman Abdullah Dimaporo, Congressman Khalid Muhammad, Muhammad Khalid Dimaporo, and Governor Imelda Quebranza Dimaporo. We also received the 50,000 pesos worth of books given by the Grolier International. Amidst this, all these challenges, Jeronima Cabrera National High School stands as a growing institution. These legacies that we engrave to our students may be an instrument of hopes and inspirations that we are one in our quest to educate the young who will be our future leaders of tomorrow. Today marks another milestone of Jeronima Cabrera National High School and being the school administrator, I would like to extend our heartfelt thanks due to the unwavering support of the people who have supported us for the school year 2020, 2021 and beyond. To our school's division superintendent, Adalberto L. Oplenaria. To our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Rosemary T. Macesar. To our CID Chief, Dr. Maria Eva S. Idon. To our SGOD Chief, Dr. Maria Carmela T. Ablin. To our Education Program Supervisors. To PSDS, Emma M. Labunog. To our Municipal Mayor, Lorenzo V. Maniegos, and the entire Local Government Unit of Kulambugan. To Barangay Council of Barangay Riverside, headed by Barangay Captain Jiri Gumban. To, par to the parents who serve as the facilitators of learners to their children. To all the department heads of this institution. To all the teaching and non-teaching personnel of Jeronima Cabrera National High School. Thank you very much. This time, let us listen to our FBTCA president in his closing remarks, Mr. Wilfredo N. Espirito. Okay, may muntag ka na itong tanan. So, akong yata garon akong mga pagyokbo alang sa ito ang mga uh, competitors, sa ito mga parents o sa ito ang mga magtutudlo. Ingo man sa itong pinalagang principal is mambil ma manggubat ma may buntag ka na kanino so na, ang PT officers nagpasalamat sa tanan nga mga parents na nagsuportar sa ilahang mga anak bisan sa mga luyo sa mga pagsulay sa mga pan, sa ato ang pandemya karon nga ilang kanunay silang nagsuportar para sa mga bata na makahuman gayon sa junior high school o sa senior high school. So, salamat kayo ingon man sa mga nag-andam ng mga maestra ining maong activity o sa area nga ilang atong ginaymutangan karon. So, sa mga parents, salamat sa ilang mga pagsuportar. Ingon man unta usab nga ang tanang mga parents nga na ay mga una-una na pag mulambo ang ilang mga anak bisan loyo sa ato ang mga pagsulay ato gyud kini padayonon pagsuportar sa ato mga anak tungod kay kini mooray bugtong nga gahatag og mayong kaugmaon sa atong mga anak so mayong buntag kanatong tanan salamat to our dear completers you are a step closer to your dreams Congratulations! Just always remember to aim high, pursue your dreams, and never doubt yourself. We are all capable of all the amazing things in this world. Everything is possible for you. Make 
Jeronima Cabrera National High School, proud of you! To reach the top and soar